this video will cover the DSLP by LSB method for the triangular zone protection if there are three equal lightning masks. Here you can see in the copy suppose this uh, this is number uh, one LM lightning mast this is number two lightning mast location and this is number three so in this case what will be the zone of protection we will uh, see using this formula so let's go to the excel spreadsheet to understand better here suppose the distance between the lightning mass that is 44.1 meter this is the equal spacing lightning mass this is a triangular formation and each corner of the triangle that is one lightning mass and this is the distance between the between any two lightning masks considering the height of the lightning mast h equals to 34.5 meter for each of the lightning masts and the level of the object to be protected hx is given by uh, 7.5 meter so the active height of the lightning mast which is coming the difference between these two that means the difference between the uh, lightning mast and the level of the object to be protected that means 34 minus 7 7 point 34.5 minus 7.5 which is coming 27 meter that is the ha ha is the effective height or the active height of the lightning mast with reference to that uh, level of the object to be protected this angle triangular angle is 40 degree this p is coming with, uh, using the same formula what we used earlier in our previous video uh, this is yeah this is 5.5 divided by root h if h is greater than 30 meter that means the height of the lightning mast is greater than 30 meter we have to multiply with the coefficient which is given by this formula 5.5 by root h so here using the same formula the value of this coefficient is coming 0.936 so the diameter of the circle formed by the tips of the lightning mast is given by d that is equals to AB by angle ACB equals to BC by angle BAC equals to CA by angle ABC because this is the equilateral triangle Equis, uh, equal spacing at equal spacing three lightning masts are located that's why this formula is applicable hence replacing this formula uh, replacing these values in the formula diameter D is coming as 68.61 meter so 8 into H A into P the, uh, which is coming 8 into H A means 27 multiplied by this 0 0.936 we need to check this value which is coming to uh, 202.259 meter now that is the condition as if the dia d is less than equals to this that means 8 into h a into p then the object at the given level is protected so in this case diameter d which is 68.61 meter this is less than this to uh, 202.259 hence the object at the given level is protected once again let's check the copy here 
yes you can see this diameter this is the this is the circle this is the circle formed by the tip of the tip of the all three lightning masks so if that diameter d this is d is less than equals to 8 to h a into p if the height of the lightning mask is greater than 30 meter then it will be multiplied by p that uh, that coefficient otherwise it will be 1 that means simply d less than equals to 8 into h a if this condition is satisfied then the object at this given height is protected so this is um, considering the triangular zone protection considering three equal lightning mass at uh, those are located at equal spacing so this is lesbic method direct stroke lightning protection system basically this is applicable for the outdoor lightning uh, direct stroke lightning protection in the outdoor substation uh, we use this method to protect the substation equipments